Today we're making flan con queso, or flan with cheese. First thing we're gonna use is three quarter cups of sugar, a quarter cup of water to make our sugar sauce. We're also gonna use five eggs. We're gonna use a package of cream cheese. You're gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I also add cinnamon, which is um, a ingredient that you can add if you want, or you don't need to. We also have a can of evaporated milk and a can of condensed milk. To start, we're gonna use our, put our three quarter cups of sugar right into our saucepan. And then to that, you're gonna add a quarter cup of water. So once we pour the quarter cup of water in, we're just gonna stir it around, let the water penetrate the sugar, and then it's just a matter of cooking it down until all the sugar dissolves and the color turns into a beautiful golden amber. This takes about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the heat that you're using. You wanna try cook it down in medium low if possible and just be patient and don't rush the process. So now it's been cooking for a few minutes. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker. Now I just keep kind of stirring it around stirring it around, and then I'm just gonna leave it again, go back to doing what I was doing before, and I'll come back every two or three minutes and just keep stirring it. Okay, we're about 15 minutes in at this point. You can see it's bubbling even more. At this point, you wanna keep a closer eye on it, keep stirring it around. You can see I'm using a fork now to kind of give it a good stir. The reason I'm using a fork and not the wooden spoon is that this sugar mixture starts sticking to the wooden spoon and a metal fork is a lot easier to kind of deal with. Scraping it from the side, you can see I keep pouring the sugar back into the middle, keep vigorously stirring it. I don't want any lumps in there, so <clears throat> I'm gonna keep stirring it up to try to get rid of the lumps. And I'm actually gonna use an immersion blender at this point to try to break up the sugar even more. You just don't wanna have these chunks of sugar in there. So if you do, just kind of work the fork, try to make them into smaller, pieces and if you have the immersion blender this is a good time to stick it in there and really get everything smoothed out so now i'm putting the immersion blender in there you can see it's a nice golden color at this point i just don't like to have these chunks of sugar in there so i keep it at a very low setting so i don't want to splash anything on myself or in the kitchen so it's just kind of stirring it up using the immersion blender on the low setting and you get as much of that sugar dissolved as possible <coughs> So you just keep kind of pushing it, stirring it around. Right now it's dissolving nicely. So you'll end up doing this for about two, three minutes. And then just keep stirring it, blending it. You can see that nice, beautiful golden color at this point. So we're about done and we're ready to pour it into our ramekins. So here's our finished product. You can see there are no more lumps of sugar in there. It's just a nice smooth um, golden color, almost like peanut butter at this point. And what's gonna happen is the sugar is gonna harden very quickly. So you gotta make sure you pour them into the ramekins kind of quickly, and then just let the ramekins sit there for about 10 minutes to cool down. So at this point, I've poured the sugar into the ramekins. They're already starting to get hard, and now I'm ready to work on the filling. Starting with a package of cream cheese at room temperature, I'm just gonna mix it up. So at this point, the cream cheese is uh, mixed up. You can see it's a little smoother, easier to work with. And to this, you're gonna start, you're gonna add five eggs. So this is a great time to get the kids involved. I love to cook with them when I can, so the kids are gonna actually be the ones opening the eggs up one at a time. And then I'm gonna be the ones removing the shells from the mess that they make, but it's all in good fun. So one at a time, you're gonna crack open the eggs, get them into your bowl. As you can see, my son is not the best egg cracker, but he's trying hard and he's having a good time and he's not making a huge mess, so I'll take it as a win. Best thing about cooking with kids, you just have to not worry about a little bit of a mess and you have to not worry about some shells in the bowl, but the important thing is that they're helping you out and they're having fun and they're learning all about food and how to do certain activities like cracking eggs into a bowl. So right now we've got five eggs cracked and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one egg at a time to our cream cheese mixture and blend it really well before adding the next egg to it. So this I'm gonna use my other son for, he's gonna be doing the actual mixing. So I'm gonna be pouring the eggs in. 
I would say not to let your kids pour the eggs in because you may end up losing all five eggs at once. So you can see one egg at a time, you're just gonna end up mixing it up and make sure that when they're mixing it, they don't lift up the mixer out of the bowl because then you'll end up with egg mixture all over your kitchen, which is not super fun to clean up as I can tell you from past experience. So at this point, we have all five eggs mixed in. You can see we have a nice liquidy, frothy kind of mixture of eggs and cream cheese. And at this point, what we're gonna do is add our can of evaporated milk and our can of condensed milk. So two kids, two cans, I'm gonna open it for them and they're gonna pour it in there. So there we have our can of evaporated milk. <clears throat> And then we're gonna open up our can of condensed milk and add that to the mixture. So with the condensed milk, it's a little stickier, so you just have to be careful pouring it out, making sure that you scrape out kind of the excess condensed milk that's inside of there. You scrape it out, and once you scrape it out, feel free to let somebody lick the spatula as long as you don't have any raw eggs on there. So at this point, I poured the batter into a four cup measuring cup. And what I'm gonna do now is just pour the batter right into the ramekins. I made a bit too much batter for four ramekins, so I ended up using this Instant Pot kind of um, egg holder thing. So I ended up pouring the batter into there as well. And I'm gonna cook all of them inside a water bath at 350 degrees for between 40 and 50 minutes once I end up pouring up all the batter. At this point, a kettle full of boiling water is poured inside a water bath as well as the four ramekins, and I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. In the end, you have these beautiful flans that are done cooking and just let them cool down at this point. In order to get them to be served. The next day, you wanna take them out of the refrigerator, put them in a hot water bath. You can see some water in the bowl here. And then from there, what you're gonna do is put a plate on top of the ramekin, and then you're gonna flip it over and knock the top of the ramekin a few times, and then it should be able to come out pretty easily. And then throw it, ta-da! And there you have your flan con queso. At this point, what I'm gonna do is serve it with some blueberries and raspberries. And this is um, the end product. So I hope you enjoy making them and eating them. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more videos, including a Super Bowl special coming up next. Thank you so much, guys.